In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. At the invitation of Evan and Stephanie, we join the Kubota and Lay families, family and friends together in this celebration of God's great love for us and his invitation to love for this couple before us. Also in thanksgiving for the presence of Father Tom as he joins the couple on this very special day. As we do so, we take a moment simply to give glory to God. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these your servants, Evan and Stephanie, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as we listen to the words of Scripture. Chik sak sang sung the thiên chúa phán chúng ta hãy làm ra con người theo hình ảnh chúng ta giống như chúng ta để con người làm bá chủ cá biển, chim trời, gia súc, giá thú, tất cả mặt đất và mọi giống vật bò dưới đất. Thiên Chúa sáng tạo con người theo hình ảnh mình. Thiên Chúa sáng tạo con người theo hình ảnh Thiên Chúa. Thiên Chúa sáng tạo con người có nam, có nữ. Thiên Chúa ban phúc lành cho họ. Và Thiên Chúa phán với họ, Hãy sinh sôi này nở thật nhiều, Cho đầy mặt đất, Và thông trị mặt đất, Hãy làm bá chủ cá biển, Chim trời và mọi giống vật bò trên mặt đất. 
Tin Chúa thấy mọi sự người đã làm ra qua là rất tốt đẹp. Đó là lời Chúa. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, let mutual love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it has some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brother and sister in Christ, and today the family of the bride and the groom uh, of Ivan and uh, Stephanie uh, gather here in the house of the Lord to celebrate the magnific magnificent of their day uh, today that they will tie the knot together and uh, I have a privilege uh, to have known the family of Stephanie for many years before I uh, 
became priest in 12 years ago in the uh, order of Friar Minor Conventual of California. And today is a, a good day. Uh, it's not really hot, it's not really cold that we are celebrating uh, the uh, wedding uh, feast uh, for Ivan and Stephanie. So, Ivan and Stephanie, if someone expressed to you that marriage was a prison, that you have to live in it for the rest of your life, then what would you say? Perhaps you may say to that person, because you are Catholics, you believe that marriage is not a prison. You are not the prisoners of love. Instead, marriage is a joyful commitment that you have for each other for the rest of your life. And the fact of the sacrament of marriage means that true love is not just a feeling or emotion. It is a commitment, a sacrifice of oneself for the other. It is like Christ, who loved the church so much that he handed himself over for her. Yes, love requires sacrifice and respect. So, by sacrificing for and respecting each other, Ivan and Stephanie, you as husband and wife will attain the holiness of God and open yourself freely to welcome children as the gift of God and the gift of the church as well. My dear brothers and sisters, especially the Vietnamese family, allow me to speak uh, some Vietnamese to our uh, Vietnamese family members here. Kính thưa ông bà và anh chị em và Ivan and Stephanie, You know, chúng ta có rất là nhiều loại mực ở trong cuộc sống của chúng ta. Nhưng mà khi chúng ta liên hệ với nhau thì chúng ta có bốn loại mực mà chúng ta phải trải qua. Cái loại mực thứ nhất mà Yvonne và uh, Stephanie có được đó là cái sự bí mật khi hai con à, quen nhau, hai con rất là bí mật. Cái thời buổi giây phút đầu tiên đó, chưa có cho gia đình biết. Ha. And à, tại vì còn mắc cỡ, còn e thẹn, giống như Chúa đã à, bí mật tạo nên con người. Chúa bí mật nắng con người từ bùn đất và thổi thần khí của ngài vào để rồi sau đó con người và thiên chúa đi đến giai đoạn thân mật với nhau thiên chúa biết con người và con người biết thiên chúa rồi chúa muốn đem con người thoát khỏi cái vòng tội lỗi cái xiền xích của tội lỗi chúa thân mật với con người và sau khi Chúa đã thân mật với con người rồi Thì Chúa trăng mật với con người Chúa đám cưới, Chúa cưới giáo hội Chúa đưa giáo hội vào trong hoang địa Giống như những tác giả của những bài thánh ca Mà nói về đám cưới Bồ câu hơi, em ơi em có nghe Sáng tác của Du Xe Trịnh Ngọc Danh rồi à, đôi bồ câu à, rồi rồi hiền thê ơi em ơi em hãy nghe à, 
Chúa trân mặt Chúa trân mặt với con người Chúa đám cưới với giáo hội Và Chúa đưa giáo hội vào cái vòng yêu thương của Thiên Chúa Sau khi ba giai đoạn bí mật, thân mật, trân mật qua rồi Thì tới giai đoạn cuối cùng là cái giai đoạn mà lâu dài nhất Và Chúa muốn chúng ta phải giống như Chúa Đó là dập mật Chúa đã dập mật vì giáo hội Chúa đã dập mật vì tội lỗi của chúng ta Chúa yêu thương và Chúa đã cưới lấy giáo hội và giáo hội là chúng ta trở thành hiền thê của Thiên Chúa Và Chúa sẵn sàng hy sinh và dập mật cho chúng ta tới suốt cuộc đời của chúng ta Ivan và Stephanie You have heard the words of God speaking to you That when God created man and woman He wanted them to live together He wanted them become one in flesh although they were in different bodies as male and female yes their bodies were different but they both share the same commonality that is the image of God dwelling in them and we all have the same commonality that we share with each other the human flesh and the spirit of God. In other words, what we are carrying in our body in the fl- is the flesh of our humanity and the spirit of God himself. Our bodies reveal who we are and what we are, the, in- the visible beings. Yet, most importantly, is that they manifest something which is above the invisible being of God, and God Himself is dwelling our bodies. And our bodies represent the being of, of God. They belong to God, and God makes Himself manifest through them. Therefore, your marriage is really and it is your call to holiness. It is the way God calls you to become holy as He is holy. So each of us is created by God with a purpose that God wants us to unite ourselves with Him. Yet before we can unite ourselves with God, we must be in union with each other. And this union is perfectly expressed in the conjugal, conjugal love that you Ivan and Stephanie have for each other as husband and wife. So when you vow to each other that you will be faithful to each other for the rest of your lives, your vows should be the model of your mutual love. You are no longer seen as two separate people but one, one, one flesh, and one spirit. You, as the husband and the wife, should give yourself to each other, and in the conjugal act, you should be open to bring life to existence. My dear Ivan and Stephanie, you are God's co-operators in creating new life. Your bodies are very important 
They are used to glorify God and to collaborate with God in bringing a new life to existence. Thus, every act of your marriage should be done with the purpose of opening to life. And if you live your marriage life with this purpose and keep God's commandment, your conjugal love is blessed by the love of God. God will give you abundant grace so that both of you will have strength and courage to raise your children, to keep your family, and to love each other, and to love your children as God has loved both of you. And may the blessing of God be with you always and bless you always, forever and ever. For the wedding rite, I invite the wedding cup, the wedding party to please stand and come forward. Dearly beloved, you have come together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism. They may be faithful to each other forever and assume the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Evan and Stephanie, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I, I do. I do. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. I am. I am. Since it is your intention to enter in the covenant of holy matrimony, Join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Put that in your hand. I, Evan. I, Evan. Take you, Stephanie. Take you, Stephanie. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you to love you and to honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life to her. i stephanie i stephanie take you evan take you evan to be my husband to be my husband i promise to be faithful to you i promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad in good times and in bad in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love you and to honor you to love you and to honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life may the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. With your words and the words of scripture, we now bless the rings as a sign of this covenant 
marriage. Offering to her. Step up. Stephanie. Stephanie. Receive this ring. You see this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Closer. Evan. Evan. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Ask you to kneel down, kneel down at this time. Let us all stand at this time in our prayer for this couple in their sacrament of marriage as we lift up our prayer for them and for the whole church. Chúa đã hướng dẫn Stephanie và Evan yêu thương nhau và đã dùng bí tích cao cả để chúc phúc cho tình yêu này. Xin Chúa giúp cho Stephanie và Evan được luôn kiên trì và hết lòng yêu thương nhau để trư toàn mọi trách nhiệm trong đời sống gia đình. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa. That Stephanie and Evan, newly joined in holy matrimony, be granted perfect and fruitful love peace and strength, and that they bear faithful witness to the name of Christian. Let us pray to the Lord. Xin Chúa thương chúc lành cho ông bà, cha mẹ, họ hàng và bạn hiệu hiện diện với Stephanie và Evan trong thân lễ hôm nay luôn được bình an và niềm vui trong tình thương của Chúa. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa. For their relative and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Xin Chúa đưa vào bàn tiệc thân, quê trời linh hồn ông bà, tổ tiên của Stephanie và Evan. Cắt riêng cho linh hồn như xe, và linh hồn Maria. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa.
Anchiem, brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. Receive in your kindness, Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you. And in your fatherly love, watch over those you have joined in a sacramental covenant through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you willed that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such a high dignity that in the union of husband and wife, you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony, as the abiding sign of your own love, consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. The microphone. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, for Ivan and Stephanie, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us stand together in our prayer. We pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Go and kneel down. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and will that their union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these, your servants, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come upon this bride, Stephanie, and upon Evan, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit send their hearts aflame from on high so that living out together the gift of marriage they may enrich your church in happiness may they praise you O lord in sorrow may they seek you out may they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world and after a happy old age, together with a circle of friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Let's offer a sign of the Lord's peace to one another.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
words of thanks from the family at this time. Xin đại diện gia đình con tên là Hiếu Trọng kính cha chủ tế Pha đẻ Cha đồng tế Cha tâm Quý sơ chồng mến đánh giá Ông bà cầu mợ các cô chú dì Các anh chị em trong gia đình hai họ Các bạn chụp hình quay phim Và bạn Hiếu xa gần Cô Đài En, chị Anna Con xin đại diện cho gia đình trước hết Con xin dâng lời tạ ơn Thiên Chúa đã luôn thương và gìn giữ gia đình chúng con trong những ngày tháng qua Tạ ơn Thiên Chúa Qua bí tích hôn phối đã gắn kết con chúng con là Stephanie và Evan Nên một xương một thịt Để tạo nhận nên con người mới hầu làm vinh quang nước Chúa Chúng con xin chia ơn cha em Cha Tâm, quý sơ dòng mến thân giá Chúng con xin khắc ghi công ơn ông bà, ba mẹ, cậu mợ Ơn nghĩa sinh thành dưỡng dục qua bao ngày qua nhất là hôm nay Cậu mợ và gia quyến đã tạo điều kiện để con chúng con đón nhận hồng ân bí tích hôn phối Cũng như gói hành trang cần thiết để bước vào đời sống gia đình Một lần nữa con nguyện xin Thiên Chúa và mẹ Maya ban luôn lên lành đến quý cha và toàn thể quý vị Chúng con xin đồng cảm tạ Ờ à. Con xin mời sơ trang đại diện cho sơ dòng mến thân giá của đời lời chúc đến hai cháu. The Holy Father Francis culturally imparted the apostolic blessing to Stephanie Lee and Ivan Kupota on the occasion of the sacrament of matrimony. That their love consecrated at this altar will be blessed each day with divine graces. Congratulations. After the prayer and blessing, we're going to take just a moment to take a photo or two or three, and then we'll have the final dismissal. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find growth in these your servants, 
and that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by all of us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. As I present you, Mr. and Mrs. Evan and Stephanie Kabulka. So in there I've been waiting See that look in your eyes I've been hoping for a love like you For a long, long time We got laughter, we got tears We got each other too moment we are here to stay There ain't nothing we can do Here we are, dear Hand in hand No more plans Just our love here Again and again I'll say I do Thank you.